channel. My name is Diana. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. Figured we'd do another daily vlog. I'm about to go to the gym and today we're going to be doing some pre-workout instead of an energy drink, which honestly is pretty crazy because I haven't had an energy drink in so stinking long. I'm kind of excited though. Here is what is on the agenda today. I'm obviously doing my 75 hard situation i need to go to whole foods after the gym and exchange that dark cherry juice for tart cherry juice i'm going to pick up a box of cereal and some uh some eggs i almost said scrambled eggs because i didn't get eggs yesterday and i had three so now i'm left with three and that's not gonna last me at all i think i'm pretty much good on that front just some cereal today's gonna be it a pool day at the gym. I'm excited. Um, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna edit a video. This morning I woke up at 5.20, 5.30. Some sometime around that time because yesterday I actually went to bed pretty late. It was almost midnight because I was doing laundry, I was doing my bed, and I set up the coffee machine for five this morning and then I realized that it wasn't like brewing and I started, I was like, man, did I set it up wrong? I even went, I went downstairs yesterday at like 10, 20 PM to get water from my car because I really, really wanted my new Kion coffee. It's so good, it's so delicious. So I ended up like setting up the co the drip coffee maker to you know, do its thing, but it wanted me to clean it. And I'm like, there's no way I'm about to clean this thing right now. It's gonna take like 30 minutes. So I ended up turning it off and turning it back on and then it ended up working. So that's, that was nice. But I had my coffee. I, oh, where am I even going with this? What I was trying to say is that yesterday I set up the coffee maker. I did my bedding, some laundry. Like I just had a bunch of little things that I needed to do before going to bed. So by the time I went to bed, it was almost midnight because I also document, like I wrote my day four of the 75 hard challenge on medium and i think it was like a thousand plus words so it took me a while i was like falling asleep as i was writing it but i was like nope i'm gonna stay strong i'm gonna finish this article this morning i wrote another article and i'm so proud of myself because i feel like i'm getting back into my writing game and i wrote the article it's complete i just need to edit it and do a little outro situation so that's on the books today and also i want to edit a youtube video i posted a short no i posted a reel i need to cross post it on instagram uh, on youtube and tiktok that is also on the agenda and then i just have a bunch of short form content that i need to edit amongst other things and i would also like love actually not like i would love 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 to film a couple of sit down videos today so that is on the agenda today and i have work at five so it's gonna be a busy jam-packed day honestly i'm excited i'm feeling good look at this color i know this is gonna taste delicious because i tried the sample size before and it was so good i did a full, full scoop um i think this tastes like coconut from what i recall i am back from the gym i went to whole foods picked up eggs since i'm out now and i exchanged my juice that i got yesterday i got the black sweet cherry juice and i got the tart cherry juice instead so i'm excited to have this tonight i'm gonna do the like viral magnesium glycinate with this it's gonna be so good i'm excited I am starving, so I'm going to make some food really quick. And then I have a couple of things that I'd like to get done. I already mentioned them earlier. Edit my video, uh, edit my article. I need to go for my second workout of the day today. I think maybe we'll see, but maybe I'll walk somewhere for coffee or maybe not. I mean, I still have a little bit of my Kion left from this morning, so I think I'm gonna have that. Um, but first things first, I'm just gonna eat because I'm honestly, cannot function right now i'm so hungry i'm going to do a protein shake look at this look at this i got this on sunday it's right here this is all bubbles it's right here so it's what is it tuesday i need to go and get more milk i'm excited i believe my second protein is coming in today the one that i got that was gifted to me and it's going to be in the vanilla flavor i'm excited to try it out hopefully it's good i've got pretty high hopes for it honestly because the chocolate one is sensational okay. all right 
I like to do half water, half milk. Part of the reason is to save on my milk, clearly, since it's always running out. Part of it is just because I like how creamy the milk makes it. Um, but I'm not gonna like, I don't know. I think it's totally fine with water. I feel like it'll be a little too rich if I do all milk. I did two servings of the protein. We're gonna do one serving of collagen. I think I'll probably need more water because this is a lot of like powder. Yes. You are going. Bon appetit. I just made another batch of my coconut date bars, but in a different flavor clearly. I'm so excited to see how these turn out. I'm gonna pop these in the fridge. podcast and I just am feeling so I like I don't know how to explain it I feel like such a shift happening internally it's weird it's like I almost want to cry right now that's how weird it is it feels weird to say but I almost feel like I can I can feel myself growing and shifting and changing and I'm doing these like self-reflections in my head on these walks and I just like am experiencing such epiphanies and such just mind-blowing thoughts occurring and I almost feel like I'm going through this like self-discovery phase, stage, era, I don't even know what to call it, but it feels, I don't even know what word to use, I don't want to use the word empowering, but it feels, it feels good, there's so many people watching me, so I'm gonna turn this camera off and head home. Just a one night stand
All right, I'm heading off to work. I did a little feng shui, is that what you call it? And rearranged the living room a bit. I don't know what it is, but I really, really hate sitting at my desk with my back turned to the door. It freaks me out. It makes me feel like I'm unaware of what's going on behind me. And I feel like when things are facing this way, it's almost like more like open concept. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt like with my desk facing the, I don't know, it's just like blocked in. I don't know. I just feel like I like this more. I know it's like an awkward setup, but realistically speaking, nobody even comes here anyway. And it's not like anybody's gonna see this awkward setup except the people who live here. So therefore, I think it's fine. Uh, and I really like it because this way I can like have something playing on the TV while I edit or work or do whatever it is that I am gonna do at my laptop and I'm gonna or computer and I'm gonna be more inclined to use it because I haven't been sitting there for a while because I don't like to sit there with my back turned towards the door. So that's that. I also cleaned, I vacuumed, I <laughs> tore apart this like huge thing that I have here in the entrance with like all of my purses and bags in there and I reorganized it, threw away a couple of like old bags. I don't know if you can tell, but I did indeed dye my hair. <laughs> I just dyed it my usual black. And for whatever reason, every time that I dye it, I feel like it's not as dark as it should be, but maybe that's just me. Anyways, I'm off to work. So I made those dark chocolate, uh, I made the coconut strawberry date bars. Delicious, wonderful, but I do prefer the plain coconut ones as opposed to the strawberry ones because the strawberries have been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days now so they're a little bit overly ripe and I think that's what's bothering me even when I had my yogurt bowl I was kind of like these are a little too ripe for my taste but anyways I'm hoping that I don't get off work at like in the middle of the night because that won't suck but I'm having the coconut I have one left. So I'll see you after work. And that's that. I had a great day today. Tomorrow I work at 12.30 I think. So I'm kind of excited to have like a different variation to my schedule. I feel like I'm gonna become a date with how much dates I've been eating lately. Hello, it's 10. I just made it through in in the door. I was like speed walking home because it's so dark outside and sketchy. I don't like to drive because the parking garage is like 20 bucks to park there, to park your car there for the day or whatever. And I just feel like that's a waste of money and I'm in walking distance. I'm totally fine with walking. Uh, it's just that it gets kind of scary. So I've been bringing my like pepper spray with me. I have to chug this water. I had a little bit left over in my flask, but it was really, it's cold. So I like dumped it. So I'm going to just drink this really quickly so that I could complete my gallon for the day. Whew. I can't believe it's so late. 10 o'clock. I'm gonna drink my magnesium. I'm going to shower. Honestly, I had this grand plan of having like a late meal and sitting at my desk and working, but I'm just I can't. I would I would rather wake up early er than it intended and just get my stuff done tomorrow morning because I feel like I could pass out right now but I wanted to show you this package that I got so one of these I bought with my own money and the second one was gifted because I am an ambassador so you feel free to use my code if you're interested I got another sticker but I'm so excited to have this I got their aminos which are, they're full aminos. These are not BCAAs. There's a difference between BCAAs and aminos. Aminos have all nine of the essential aminos that you need versus 
BCAs, I think have like two or three, something like that. I was very excited to have that. This is the gifted one and I cannot wait to have it tomorrow. If you're looking for a great protein powder, definitely recommend Keon. Ben Greenfield is one of the founders. And as you guys know, I'm obsessed with the chocolate one. I've already purchased two. So I'm very excited to try out the vanilla one tomorrow. This is so exciting. I feel like I should make a like an Oreo situation or like some kind of like cookie milkshake with that. That would be so good. Okay. Next up. This was obviously purchased with my monies. So, so excited. I ordered this like a week ago, I think. Nourishing diets. How paleo, ancestral, and traditional peoples really ate. Wow. This is like a very interesting layout for a book. So I heard, or I actually listened to somebody talking about this book in a podcast that was on, I believe it was Skinny Confidential. And you know who I think was talking about it actually? One of the founders of Keon. I forgot his name. Anyways, he was talking about this book. I'm so excited to read this. This is the frustrating part. I come home at 10 and I'm just like so beat, but like throughout the day, I feel like there's not enough time to do everything that I want to do, to learn everything that I want to learn, to see everything that I want to see. Like, I wish there were more hours in a day, that's all. And I feel like I've been so good about being more efficient throughout my day as well. Like, I've been trying to limit social media, I've been trying to stay off my phone, I've been trying to, like, I'm not, like, sitting around, like, not doing anything. Like. I just feel like I try so hard, but there's still not enough time in the day. I'm going to go to bed, so I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this little day of my life. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you are trying to become a little bit healthier, and if you're looking for a good protein powder, definitely check out Keon. I will have my link in the description box below. I'll see you guys in the next video.